Hi guys and welcome back for another math lesson. Sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin ang union and intersection of events under ng grade 10 mathematics. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating lesson, magkaroon muna tayo ng review patungkol sa inyong lesson noong grade 7 about union and intersection of sets that will be very helpful sa pag-aaral natin sa ating bagong lesson. Let us recall na ang union ng sets X and Y ay ang set of all elements which belongs to X or to Y or to both X and Y which is denoted by X union of Y. While ang intersection naman ng sets X and Y which is denoted by X intersection of Y ay ang set of all elements na common or magkamuka kina set X and Y. While ang Venn diagram naman ay diagram na gumagamit ng mga circles para mag-represent ng sets kung saan ang relationship ng sets ay naka-indicate base sa arrangements ng circles. Let us now review your idea of union and intersection of sets sa pamamagitan ng pagsusolve. Let us say that we have the following given. The universal set, which is denoted by U, has an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. On the other hand, set A has an element of 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Set B has an element of 2, 4, 5, 6. While set C has an element of 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. Using the given, let us find the following. For this activity, let me do the numbers 1 and 5 and then iiwan ko sa inyo ang mga natira para sagutan to assess kung naaalala niyo pa ang lesson niyo ng grade 7 regarding union and intersection of sets. Let's start with number 1. Since the question is asking for the union of A, B, and C, ang focus natin ay ang sets A, B, and C. Ang ating rule sa union of sets ay simple lang. Pagsasama-samahin natin ang mga elements ng bawat set na involved sa union without writing the duplicates. Since mapapansin natin na higit sa isa ang element na 1, that means we are going to write it as one element. The same with number 2, and of course, for the rest of the elements. In question number 5, we are asked to find the intersection between A complement and B complement. When we talk about intersection, it is simply about the elements na magkamuka between sa dalawa nating sets. Since we are dealing with A complement and B complement, ang focus natin sa problem na ito ay ang sets A and B. Take note, when we are dealing with a complement, that means kailangan natin ilagay ang mga elements ng universal set na wala sa isang given na set. So ang A complement natin ay ang mga elements na nasa universal set na wala kay set A. So A complement is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. While B complement is equal to 1, 3, 7, 8, and 9. Now, going back sa ating problem, kailangan natin kuhanin ang intersection ng complement ng dalawang sets. So, kukuhanin lang natin ang element na magkamuka sa kanila. So, that is simply 8. Let us now take a look dito sa ating problems on sets involving Venn diagram. The given Venn diagram below shows the specialization of SPS students at Bahay Pare National High School. From this given figure, try natin sagutan ang mga sumusunod na tanong. Ang first question is, how many learners are there in all? Since the question is asking kung inan lahat ng mga learners, that means, ia-add lang natin ang mga sumusunod na numbers to determine the total of learners, giving us the answer, 521. Second question, how many learners have a specialization for basketball? Since ang kailangan lang natin malaman ay ang number of students na may specialization lamang sa basketball, we are just going to look on the third circle of the Venn diagram kung saan makikita natin na there are 117 students na may specialization na basketball only. So that means our answer in this problem is 117. The next question is asking, how many learners choose basketball and volleyball? 
as you can see, nakita natin ang word na N sa pagitan ng basketball and volleyball. So that means, kukuhanin lang natin ang intersection between the two. So going back to the Venn diagram, we can observe na ang intersection between basketball and volleyball is 40. So that means, 40 is our answer. For the last question, how many learners choose basketball, athletics, and volleyball? Meaning, ito ay intersection sa pagitan ng tatlong sets. So going back to the Venn diagram, the intersection between three sets is 20. So the answer is 20. Maybe some of you might be wondering kung bakit medyo matagal ang review natin. So simple lang naman ang sagot natin dyan. Kapag naintindihan nyo na ang union and intersection of sets, hindi na kayo mahihirapan kay union and intersection of events since same procedure lang naman ang ipafollow natin. For better understanding, let us start the discussion with the union of events. Union of events. It is a set that contains all the elements that are in at least one of the two events. The union is written as X union of Y. Para mas maintindihan nyo pa kung ano nga ba ang union of events, let us consider the following examples. Example number one. Given that the universal set has an element of numbers 1 to 10, set X has an element of all odd numbers from 1 to 10, and set Y has an element of all even numbers from 1 to 10, let us find the X union of Y and illustrate it using a Venn diagram. Since wala namang na-duplicate na element between X and Y, so that means in getting the X union of Y, pagsasamahin lang natin lahat ng elements na meron si X at lahat ng elements na meron si Y. Let us now proceed sa kanyang Venn diagram. So ang first na gagawin natin ay magdodraw tayo ng isang malaking rectangle that will represent our universal set. Since we only have sets X and Y, that means magdodraw lang tayo ng dalawang bilog to represent sets X and Y. Take note na since wala namang na-duplicate na element between X and Y or wala namang magkamukhang element si X and si Y, that means ang dalawang circle natin ay walang parts na mag-overlap. Sa loob ng circle ni set X, ilalagay natin lahat ng kanyang element which is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. While on the other hand, sa loob naman ng circle ni set Y, ilalagay natin ang kanyang mga elements which are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Since lahat naman ng element ni universal set ay nakay set X and Y, that means wala tayong ilalagay na numbers sa labas ng circle. Example number 2. Given again the universal set which is equal from numbers 1 to 10, and set X which has an element of 1, 3, 5, 7, Y has an element of 2, 6, 8, 9, let us find the X union of Y and illustrate it using a Venn diagram. Since we are dealing with union of two sets, and as you can see, wala namang na-duplicate na numbers or elements kay X and Y or walang naulit na elements sa kanilang dalawa, so that means, pagsasamahin lang natin lahat ng elements na meron si X at lahat ng elements na meron si Y. So that is, X union of Y has an element of 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Let us now illustrate it using a Venn diagram. So yung una natin gagawin, again, we are going to draw a big rectangle to represent the universal set. And since we have the set X and set Y, that means gagawa tayo ng dalawang circle sa loob ng rectangle. Since wala namang na-duplicate or naulit na element between X and Y, so that means walang mag-overlap na parts ni circle. So kay set X, ilalagay natin lahat ng element ni X which is 1, 3, 5, 7. Kay set Y which is 2, 6, 8, and 9. And then afterwards, ilalagay natin sa labas ng circle yung mga elements na naka-universal set pero wala kay X and Y. So we'll add simply 4 and 10. Example number 3. Given the universal set which has an element of M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, 
set X which has an element of M and OP, and set Y which has an element of OPQRS, find the union of X and Y and illustrate it using a Venn diagram. Since it is union of sets, that means pagsasamahin lang natin lahat ng elements ni X at ni Y, writing duplicated elements as one. So we have X union of Y is equal to M N O P Q R N S. Let us now illustrate it using a Venn diagram. So the first thing that we need to do still, we are going to draw our big rectangle to represent the universal set and two circles to represent sets X and Y. So as you can see, meron tayong repeated element which is O and P. So that means ang dalawang circle natin ay merong parts na mag-overlap kung saan din sa overlapping parts nila, ilalagay natin ang element na O and P. And sa element naman ni X, ilalagay natin yung natira niyang element aside kay O and P, which is M and N. And then sa element naman ni Y, ilalagay natin yung natira niyang element aside from O and P, which is Q, S, and R. Example number 4. A die is tossed. The sample space, which is S, has an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Since we all know na ang dice ay merong 6 faces consisting of numbers from 1 to 6. And then let X be equal to the event that that even number happens, and Y be equal to the event that a number greater than 3 happens. Find the union of X and Y. Para mahanap natin ang union ni X and Y, kailangan muna nating malaman kung ano-anong element meron si set X at si set Y. Since X is an event that an even number happens, that means ilalagay lang natin ang lahat ng even number from 1 to 6 ng sample space as an element of X. That is X which has an element of 2, 4, and 6. On the other hand, since y is an event that a number greater than 3 happens, so ilalagay lang natin from the sample space lahat ng numbers na greater than 3. Since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we all know that numbers that are greater than 3 are 4, 5, and 6. That means y has an element of 4, 5, and 6. Since na-identify na natin ang elements ni X and Y, we can now simply find the union of X and Y. So since we are talking about the union, ilalagay lang natin or pagsasamahin lang natin lahat ng elements na meron si X at si Y without writing the duplicates. Since we have 2, 4, 6 and 4, 5, 6, X union of Y has an element of 2, 4, 5 and 6. Now you try doing the following activity. You can pause the video for a while and put your answer on our comment section. Since this is a two-part video, sa next video, i-explain ko naman sa inyo ang intersection of events. Do not forget to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on our channel, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next upload. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.